Neves Knives. I'm Jared, and I am super excited to show this. I just got it. This is the Jared Osier F22 Kickstop. And damn it, is it good. I am so happy I pulled the trigger on this. We're going to go through it. Now, this comes in many different options. So many different options. Micarta, carbon fiber, different colors of micarta, different colors titanium. I got somewhat of the tuxedo version because it's full titanium. So if you look here, we have titanium liners. It has a titanium shield, hardware, milled pocket clip, and then you can see the liner, or sorry, there's scales over the top of the liner that are also titanium. Now, what's special about this is this flipper tab. It is called the Kickstop. The Williams Henry Kickstop, I think? Or, sorry, I'm sorry. The Lee Williams Kickstop. So, basically, the flipper tab is not connected to the blade like most flipper tabs. It is disconnected. That's why it disappears when I flip it. It's technically still in place. So, when you disengage it, you'll watch as the blade drops down, it hits it, the flipper tab and picks it back up. They are two separate pieces. So basically when I'm pushing this, I'm pushing onto the blade until it breaks the detent and then it kicks open. And I gotta say, man, the detent is so clean and crisp and perfect. It's such a perfect detent. The drop is extremely smooth. This is fresh. Now, when I first deployed right out of the box, I. I, I loved it, like it was really good, but after I flipped it a few times, put some oil on it, man, this thing is, it's so good, so, so good, like, you can't fail it, I mean, you can fail it if you really try, but you really can't though, not from just like, you know, regular flip, and it's such a comfortable flipper tab, the flipper tab is nice and comfortable, perfect jimping, you can do the light switch, you can do the, or sorry, that was a push button, the light switch, or the push button, both of them equally work great and very, very, very snappy. Now, the drop on it, when you disengage, you have the lock bar right here, disengage it. It's easy to pass the detent. The detent's right there. And it is very, very, very smooth. Now, I can reverse flick it sometimes, but it's not the best because it's a satin finish. But I have been able to reverse flick off the fuller. Um, but it's not a primary way, so I'm not going to sit here and um, talk about that too much. But it is possible. Now, when it's open, I know one of the biggest concerns is, how's that clip? How is that clip? Because... It's on the spine, so it appears like it's going to be very, very uncomfortable. And yes, it's slightly uncomfortable. Not the best, but it's also not the worst. Like, if I bring up right now my Sharp Eye Designs, this is horrifying. It is so bad. I don't know why any company or any designer or whatever would ever put a clip on the spine. It makes no sense. This is so uncomfortable. It's almost unusable uncomfortable. This is not like that. This is still, I can perfectly use this just fine. Yes, I feel it slightly right there, but because it's not all the way up at the spine, it's okay. And if I really wanted to bear down, I'm going to um, move my grip like this. And in that case, I don't even feel it. So in regular slicing, yeah, I feel it a little bit, but it's not bad at all. Not to the extent of which I'm unhappy with my purchase. I am very, very happy with this purchase. Beautiful drop point blade with a beautiful like arrowed swedge on the top. In M390 steel, beautiful satin finish. The geometry feels really good. We'll measure that here in one second. Now, Another thing that's kind of special about this, well, and I didn't even know really, because I didn't really understand how it worked, but I was trying to figure out, where is the stop pin? And I'm sitting here like really like messing with it, trying to figure out where, I don't even see a stop pin in there. How does it stop? So the kit, and this is what I, I haven't taken it apart, so I'm just going to guess that the kick stop is swiveling on its own pivot, which is the stop pin. So the kick stop is also the stop pin in the open and closed position so this leaves it open right here if you ever did want to cut in a choil you have all the room in the world with no issues i love the how it's aerodynamic um and it is comfortable in all the other grips like very very comfortable reverse grips pinch grips um utility cutting grips um it, it's all very very comfortable the access to the lock bar it's good, okay? So I don't want to make it seem like it's bad because it's good because they put this chamfer on the edge right there and it's easy to do. 
However, I'm a stickler for this, so this is just me being a nitpicky bastard. I would love this to be knocked back a little bit so I could come from the side. I can kind of come from the side at an angle, which is not uncomfortable, so I'm not hating on it at all. I think it's just fine, but, you know, if I had my way, you know, I, I would have knocked it back just a little bit. But then again, it has such a clean look that it, it would possibly disrupt it for not that much benefit. Because I really love the look of this. It's, it, the fit and finish is exceptional. Um, the tolerances are fantastic. The action, the finish, or the feeling you have, like, in hand, it just, it feels premium. Now, you, I can feel when the blade hits the kickstop. It sometimes it has, like, a double click, like a click, 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 click. Which, is, it's cool. I like it. I'm not mad at it. And here, I'll let you listen to some acoustics. This thing kicks harder than Chuck Norris. I mean, it is. It's such a... It's amazing. I love the feeling of the when the detent breaks and the kind of like the recoil of it a little bit. It, it's snappy. Very snappy. I am so happy I purchased this. I'm going to link everything down in the description if you guys want to check out. Because this might not be your, your version like that speaks to you. This one spoke to me out of all of them. Um, I, to be honest, they all spoke to me. I loved the way they all looked. I really could have picked any of them and been happy with it. Um, I almost got the micarta one because it already has titanium liners and this one's weighty by the way, because it's all titanium. This one has some weight on it, which I appreciate, but I know if it was the micarta one, it would be like a perfect weight, you know, where it has a little bit of weight because of the titanium liners, but light enough because of the, the micarta, which is really good quality micarta, by the way. Um, I haven't tried it, but I can see it. You know, we all know good quality my car when we see it. Now, this one though, you know, the, the black liners with the raw titanium, um, with the black shield and hardware and, you know, just, it, it really spoke to me. Now, would it be cool if it had a black blade? Yeah, kind of, but I really like the satin too. Plus it's M390 steel. Between 18 and 20 thousandths behind the edge. So not super thick, not super thin, but right there in the happy medium spot. So it's going to be a good slicer. And it gives me the overall feeling and similarities to the Sharp Eye Designs Mini Tempest. You know, with the size, the fit, the finish, the you know, the tolerances and just overall build quality, I feel are very similar to one another. I like it so much, I almost want to grab a Micarta one as well. Um, because this is this is totally going to be my carry for Thanksgiving. Um, the edge came out, came really good. Really good quality edge. I'm very happy with it. So I don't feel like I should sharpen it. Now, in most cases, I do sharpen the knives I bring to my families and stuff like that. Because, you know, I got to represent a Neves Knives Edge. So got to put one of them heaters on there but this one i don't think it even needs it yet so i'll probably just rock it the way it is and uh yeah i'm gonna be very very happy carrying this on thanksgiving uh possibly on christmas or at christmas as well very very awesome man Ugh, I'm, i know i keep saying that but sometimes you just get a knife and it's like i'm so glad i got this you know it's like because sometimes you buy one like this one I was so excited to get this. And I, I got two of them I was so excited. I was so damn excited. Now, I'm not saying I hate this knife because I don't hate it. I love the knife. Um, I have two of them. I love these things. However, that clip just destroys it for me. It makes it unbearable to me. Like, every time I put it in my hand, it's a reminder. Like, it's like I, I can't get away from it. Now, people have said that they melted theirs. Where, not melted in real life, but that you buff and chamfer and crown the edges of all this almost like it's melted and they say it massively improves it i might have to do that on these because like i said every time i pick it up i am just it's like a slap in the face like man because it, it hits you right in, it hits you so hard like it's so sharp it just bites you and it's like damn it man why does that got to be there 
This one, however, <clears throat> I am, there's no disappointments at all. Yes, like I said, I would place the clip more centered if, if I had the choice, but I, I am perfectly happy with the way it is. So, yeah, very, very happy. I would love to see one of these kick stops with, um, like a reverse. Man, I, I want to get more of these now. Um, more knives with the kick stop. Um, I've tried them before, but I don't think I've ever owned one. And if I did, I, uh, I don't remember. I might have. But anyways, I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.